Hi everyone, this is my Audi TT Mark 1. I am currently looking at the OBD2 port where I keep on getting a linking error. So I've had this problem only in the last two or three weeks. Before that it was working absolutely fine and then suddenly I just kept getting a linking error. Initially I thought it was my scanner, maybe it just wasn't compatible or it had uh, worn away over time. So I took it apart to have a little look but I couldn't see anything obvious. Um, there is also a few other things that you want to check out if you do have a OBD2 port linking error. And the first is just to take the back off. So this back panel is held in by I think the T25 uh, torque screws uh, or torque bolts and you have one in here, one here, one here and one up here. You then have one underneath which goes through here and then another one in the same section just there. And then once you've taken it out, you can shimmy it back because it's got to come off some stuff, um, off some points, and then that will just drop down like so. And you can get better access. So uh, the OBD2 port is here. And so uh, you just have to click three parts, which is this part here, and you've got two on the back, and you can pull it out. And that's what I had to do. And as you can see, someone has already done some sort of soldering to this wire which makes me think there was a previous um, problem with it uh, but in order for me to solve the issue with my OBD2 port I've had to start fault finding so what you need is your multimeter and you have to set it onto volts DC once you've got it on volts DC you can go through and check that your wires or your cables are good so this positive should be giving you about 12 volts or near enough that which is your battery voltage you should then have zero on your ground zero on your signal and I think zero on this one and I'm not entirely sure what this one is so apologies for that but this is your K line and your communications line and that you should be getting some sort of voltage and I was getting 0.5 volts which is not good at all and that usually signals that there's some sort of short um, so what I had to do is cut the bandage that was around here it's not really a bandage but I had to cut that off to expose these wires which were all clamped together and separate them and then one by one with the key in the ignition and turned onto the on position I could check to verify what voltage they were getting and most of them were getting around 9 to uh, 11 volts which is a good sign that was that was good the only one that I was getting a bad connection on was this one which was pulling up uh, I think it was 0 0.5 milliamps something really small um, so I've taken that one away and then when I've gone to click enter and I'll just show you that it's working So if I just go, it does take a bit of a, to a bit, a bit longer than normal on this. I have got another car, and that seems to work really quickly. Like as you can see, it's now communicating. There we go. And there we have it and we can read the codes there shouldn't be any codes at the moment i've just cleared them um and look at all the data that's there so that's just a quick overview of what you need to do if you do have a problem if it is any further than that i would suggest probably just calling an auto electrician and getting them to come and have a look and maybe they'll be able to diagnose it uh but that 